Hi everyone, I am here to show you how I clean and maintain my gel brushes and my poly gel brushes. Coming here to share with you how I do it. Maybe you can take some of my tips and apply them to how you can care for your brushes. Anytime I work with my clear builder gels, I always use one brush for the clear gels, that's it, and cover gels. The cover gels that you put on your nail beds, that's what this brush would be used for. It's one of my favorite brushes. I believe that is like a size maybe six or seven. I'll put the link to this brush in the description box. I love this brush. And it's not expensive at all. And then on the other side is a very fine liner. I also use one brush for glitter gels. I also keep a separate brush for when I work with colored art gels or gels in a pot that are black, blue, red, you name it. All those gels like that have their own brush that I use for them. From experience, if you have used your good brush that you use for clears and cover gels, if you have used that brush with any kind of glitter gels or any kind of dark paint gels, once you start applying your clear gel or your cover gel, it will bleed out a little bit on the brush. It's best to just keep all those brushes separate, okay? Have your brush for poly gel usually has the spatula on the other end. This brush is really easy to clean. You are putting it in alcohol all the time, so it's basically cleaning itself type of little brushes that I use for doing artwork and just applying colored gels are these small cheaper brushes. This one here I have black gel paint on it so I can show you how I get it out. In this dap and dish I have isopropyl alcohol 91%. A lot of people use gel cleanser to clean their brushes that's okay too and what I do is I, I dip my brush in there and I start swishing it around and then wiping it on the paper towel until I can see no more color in that brush. It's now cleaned and ready for the next color. Here is my brush that I use to apply my clear gels and my cover gels. That's what it looks like. And as you can see, all the bristles are brought together very closely. And that's how I keep the brush. What I do that has gel on it, I just take a dry wipe and I just squeeze it and then I pull it. And there it is, it's already cleaned and it's the, br the bristles are all brought together. Why I keep it like that? Because when you're applying gel, uh, most of the time you have gel on one side of the brush, right? And you're just floating it along the nail. You're just floating the gel along the nail or you're stringing it. You just work with the gel on one side of the bristle or the other, you know. Let me show you what happens if you take a gel brush like this and you completely clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Look at the brush now. It's having a bad hair day. Let me get that alcohol out of there. Now look at that. Look at the bristles. Did you ever try to apply gel with a brush that looked like that? It is almost impossible. I mean, your gel is just, you're not gonna be able to get your gel on there neatly because your brush is having a bad hair day, okay? You can't have it like that when you work, okay? when you're working with builder gel. So let me show you how you would bring that together so its hair looks nice. I got my clear gel here and I got the lid to it. And if it has a cardboard on the lid part, you need to take that off. You don't really need that on there. And I get a little bit of gel out. And about like that, that's pretty good. 
gonna take the lid and we're gonna slick his hair down. And what I do is I take the brush and I make sure that I am coating every bristle with gel. I go back and forth really quick and I work that gel into the bristles and then I take a dry wipe and I just squeeze it and pull the brush through that dry wipe. That will bring your brush back to where it should be. And if it's still not back together, all those bristles, you see them, they should be, they should be together. All of them should be back together. Let me show you, just like that. Do you see that? They should be back together. And if you don't think that you got it good, you know, you can always take the lid again, it has gel on it, and work those bristles into that gel again. And there, your brush is back together where it should be. That's how you should have your brush when you're working with it, with your builder gels. Like I said, when you work with your clear gels and your cover gels, there's no need to have to put the brush in alcohol after you're done and clean it like that anyways, because you've only used clear and you've only used cover gel. And here's another brush that has black gel paint. Just again, use your isopropyl alcohol and you should really bring those bristles together so that the brush will be easier to work with. And look at the brush. It is back together. You use the same method that I just showed you when you clean out your brushes that you use specifically for glitter gels or glitter application. It's the same method. That's the end of the video of how I clean my builder gel brushes. I hope you found it useful. I know there's a lot of gel users out there that really know where I'm coming from and understand it. I hope I explained it well enough and yeah. That's it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.